Alimera. Good day. My name is John Repke, and I'm one of the missionaries with the One Africa team. I live in Lilongwe, Malawi, and I'm making this video to show you how you can learn to speak ancient Greek by using an online course developed by the Biblical Language Center. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can access your account and then how you can navigate the Biblical Language Center's website. I'll walk you through some of the sample lessons and show you how to take a quiz and hopefully get you inspired to learn how to speak the same Greek that Jesus and his disciples spoke. It's a lot of fun to learn Greek, but it's also a lot of work, just like learning any language. But I pray that God will bless this journey that we are beginning together. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open up your Gmail mailbox. Now, maybe if you're using a tablet, you've got an, a Gmail icon on your desktop that you can click. Um, otherwise, you can also access Gmail through your web browser. I use Chrome, and I think that most Android systems have that installed. So anyway, whichever uh, web browser you're using, go to that, click on it, and you'll pull up the web browser. And then what you want to do is you want to go type in the inbox or the uh, search bar gmail.com and we wait for that to come up now uh, you probably won't have as many messages in your inbox as I do I think I understand your accounts are all brand new uh, so it may be easy for you to find the right email that has your login information in it. Um, but it's also possible for you to search your inbox for anything. So what you need to do is in this top bar here, which where you have the little um, magnifying glass and where it says search mail, click on that. And then type in these words, B-L-C, support. All right, now, hopefully somewhere it will say Biblical Language Center Online, new user account, that one. So click on that. And then it should say a new account has been created for you at Biblical Language Center Online. You've been entered a new temporary password, and it says there's your log, your username, your password. Um, I think that eQuery has helped you get your passwords updated, so you may not have to switch them. But anyway, it says to start using Biblical Language Center online, log in at online.biblicallanguagecenter.com. Log in. So you click on that link. And what that will do then is it will bring up this screen where my username and password automatically are entered because it's saved in my browser. It may or may not do that for you on your browser. So just type in your username, your password, and then click the login button. <clears throat> and now you're in your class. So this is the, the home page for the, the website for this online course you'll be taking to learn Greek. I've got access to a couple of different courses, not only the Greek Foundations course, but also the, the second level, the advanced course. I've also got access to the Hebrew class. Uh, we're not going to go through any of that. We're just going to look at the introductory Living Greek Foundations course today in this video. If you look over here um, on the left-hand side is navigation. You've got a menu. 
You probably won't see most of these things here at the top, but you will see at the bottom Living Koine Greek Foundations, OAT 2020. That's the course that you're going to be taking. If you scroll down on this page, you should see everything listed here that's also on that side bar. So you can either click this link right here, or you can click on this link. Either way, it'll take you to the start of your course. So we're going to just click that link right there. And now you should see Egine ke oaner isthusin stafidi. So <laughs> you'll see uh, that picture at the top. And it says, Welcome to Living Koine Greek Foundations. Um, again, if you look on, just to orient you again on the menu here, you've got on the left hand side, you've got this navigation toolbar. Again, it takes you to the different things that you're going to be doing. Um, we're going to just look at this part here where it says Living Koine Greek Foundations. You can see it's got um, things about grades, participants, frequently asked questions. The welcome page is where we're at, introduction, course overview, and then the different units. So this particular course has a total of 24 units. There are six assessment quizzes as well as a final exam. Um, and BLC says it should take you about three months to work through this entire course. So since this is the middle of October um, and you'll be hopefully taking some time off for Christmas, maybe let's say by the end of January of 2021, it would be good for you to be done with this course. Um, I think also if you saw, remember on that previous page, it said that the teacher is me. So that means I will have uh, opportunity to look over your shoulder and see how, how much progress you're making. I can see how you're doing on your quizzes and which units you have completed. Uh, and I'll be giving you encouragement. Hopefully we can figure out how to communicate with each other by email. Um, there's probably some way in here too where we could uh, make announcements. If you look on the other side here, can make an announcement. We can announce events. I will uh, see what I can do on that aspect and, and let you know. Um, we're going to skip over this, par this, this introduction. You can read that for yourself. I want to click on Course Overview. All right. Um, now, you have all studied English before. You've studied in school probably since you were little children. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that you learned uh, to, to speak English by repetition, um, just, you know, by learning and by, or by book learning or by both. You probably did lots of studies on grammar. I know I did when I was growing up. But if you think about it, how do human beings learn language when they are just a baby? Well, they learn it just by listening to their parents, right? And usually it takes a child maybe two years before they start to talk. They're listening, absorbing all that content, and then they start to speak. Hopefully it will not take you two years to be able to speak your first words of Greek. But the point is you're going to have to put some time in just listening at first. And, you know, when you're in this system for learning uh, Greek, it's a conversational system. So there's going to be lots of dialogue, lots of um, talk, lots of listening for you to do. Not so much writing. Maybe a little talking, but not, again, the focus is going to be on what you are receiving, not what you're producing. And it's not going to be always clear to you, especially at the beginning, uh, on what things mean or exactly what, wor what word means what. And I hope that you're comfortable with that. Again, you know, if you think about it, you're a kid, you're, you're hearing your parents speak all kinds of different words. They're using all kinds of different verb tenses, verb and grammar combinations, um, you know, you, you're, you're overwhelmed. You just pick up what you can, and whatever you can pick up, you use it. The good thing about this course, though, is it is it limits uh, the amount of information coming at you. It might seem like a lot at first, but if you if you give it if you think about it, all the different things you can do with the Greek language, it is really quite limited uh, to just a few points of grammar to get started.
And again, I, I hope that you will have fun with this course. Um, I don't know where this is going to take us, if we're going to be able to get through this and get to the next level, if you're going to get to the point where you're able to uh, read the Greek text out of the Bible and understand what it says. I certainly hope and pray that that will be possible. Um, but I, I just want you to take the pressure off yourself and just relax and have some fun with this. It's, it is a lot like playing a game. And uh, I like the fact that it's online. I like to do computer games. So hopefully this will be something that's interesting for you as well. All right, let me walk you through the course overview now. Um, if you look here, the first letter, it says picture lessons. So what this is basically saying is that the backbone of your learning will be short videos uh, in which you will see pictures and hear the Greek words for the pictures. And again, there's not in the very beginning, those words are not going to be written down. You're just going to be hearing them. You're just going to be hearing the words. So... I would, I would just encourage you to try and listen, listen, listen very carefully and try and, and, and get it straight in your, in your head what it is that exactly is being said. And these pictures will repeat over and over and over again. You know, they say repetition is the mother of learning. So just give yourself some time and it'll be fine. Um, B, alphabet lists the Greek uh, language is written with a different alphabet than English is written with. So there'll be some characters that you're going to have to learn. Some of the characters are the same as, as the Latin alphabet that we use for writing English. Many of the letters are not. So that will take some time to learn how to recognize them. But again, instead of just giving you all 24 letters up front and expecting you to write them down, you're, we're going to break it down to smaller parts and just go a little bit at a time. Uh, there will be some reading lessons where you will have the opportunity to put into practice the vocabulary words that you have learned um, through your listening and you'll begin to see the texts then after you learn the alphabet and you'll be able to recognize these words by looking at them. I mentioned already that there are quizzes. At the end of each unit there is a practice quiz and I encourage you to take that practice quiz as many times as you want. Uh, each practice quiz has about five questions, so they're short. Um, and if you, if you take it the second, an, another time, it'll generate different questions. Uh, it, it has the ability to generate, I don't know how many different kinds of quizzes, but lots of them. So keep working on those practice quizzes. Take them as many times as you want. Get them all perfect. Score when you get to the point where you can do them all perfectly, then maybe you can move on to the next unit. Uh, you can also use those practice quizzes to review. So let's say you've worked through unit one, you've taken the practice quiz, and then you go to unit two, and then you take the practice quiz. Maybe you go back to unit one and take another practice quiz, or you go through unit one, unit two, unit three, and then go back to the beginning and take a quiz on one, two, and three, and so on, just so you don't forget things that you have been learning. The uh, assessment quizzes, as they're listed there, are uh, at the end of e every four units. You will only get one opportunity to take an assessment quiz. So, again, it's important that you, you master the material that you are learning. Don't try to go through this too fast. Just take your time, nice and easy. Make sure you know, you don't have to know everything. Just know a little bit, but know it very well. That's a good point. Okay, let's uh, go down to the bottom. <laughs> he says, relax, enjoy, and absorb. All right. So now, what the next thing is I'm going to do is, you, you, like I said, we can navigate this, uh, this website by clicking on these different uh, tabs here on the side bar. You can just jump ahead to anything. You can also uh, go down to the bottom, and if you click on this drop-down box, you can do the same thing. It will give you the opportunity to go to where, wherever you want to go. But probably for your benefit, the easiest thing to do is just to click on this arrow that will always be at the bottom of every page, which takes you to the next page. So let's click on that and see what happens here. 
and uh, you have to have a good internet connection for this to work so uh, let's see there it is okay all right this is the first unit uh, and the very first video as you see is on numbers it says listen to the recording below while the numbers 1 to 10 are read in Koine Greek um, they will be repeated twice and then read in a series twice uh, and, and just listen to the numbers without trying to pronounce them yourself uh, and and what I think they're, they're saying is you, they're not really going to expect you to be able to be quizzed on this but you are eventually going to be able to learn these numbers because they keep being repeated over and over and over again in the picture lessons um, so that's why there's no quiz here so what you can do is you can click on this and I've got uh, Click on this little thing there, and it'll start the video. And you get a taste of what this is like. Arithmi. Arithmi. N. N. Zero. Zero. N. Zero. N. Zero. Tria. Tria. N zero three N zero three Tessera Tessera N zero three Tessera N zero three Tessera Pende Pende N zero three Tessera Pende and you can pause the video at any time you want to by clicking on that. It says you can also expand it if you want to make it bigger on your tablet. You just click on that one. That gives you the full screen like that. And then it says press escape. Um, I'm not sure that you could do that on a tablet, but uh, you can also click on this one to make it smaller. All right. The next section here is a picture lesson. It says each picture lesson contains a hundred pictures that seems like a lot but they do repeat um, and the number will be spoken before the words are, are before the words that describe the picture so again like it says instructions relax look at each picture listen to the recording you don't need to repeat what you're uh, hearing just listen and enjoy it and listen to each lesson completely without stopping repeat as many times as necessary and let's just give you a taste of what this is like. So I'll go back to the beginning on this one. Here we go. Mathema N. N. Epos. Epos. Zero. Epos. Epos. Tria. Aner. Aner. Tessera, aner, aner, pende, oipos, oipos, ex, oaner, oaner, epta, ykos, ykos, octo, ykos, ykos, enea. O ikos, o ikos, deka, ipos, ipos, en, onos, onos. All right, so what it did then is after the first 10 pictures, it goes back to, for, for picture 11, it actually goes back to counting it number one, en, dio, tria, and so on. And and it'll do that. And when it gets to the end of the twentieth picture and starts picture twenty one again, it goes back to and dio tria and so on. So you'll want to listen to that uh, as many times as you can. It says here most students find four to eight viewings or listenings to be helpful. Uh, so the goal is to be able to understand ninety percent of what is being described without looking at the pictures. So maybe if you watch this enough times, you can close your eyes as you listen to it and you can imagine in your head what are the pictures that you are are being shown on the screen okay then let's look at the practice quiz so picture lesson one practice quiz now you've listened to this four to eight times hopefully you are comfortable with this and 
you can take a quiz. I took this quiz before, and it says you have a time limit on each of these quizzes. This one is three minutes. Um, I wonder if it's possible for me to take this quiz again. Let me try again here. Yes, okay, so you click on that, and it says timed quiz. Uh, from the time counts down from the moment you start, and uh, you must submit before it expires. And you want to start? Yes. Click start attempt. And okay. Now it's time to assess whether or not you're ready to move on to picture lesson two. And at the top, in this quiz, you're going to see three pictures. And at the top, there's an audio file that you have to listen to and see if you can figure out which picture that is describing. Okay, so then it says click and it says once you choose your answer and move to the next question you can't go back and edit your answer so pick your choice and move on all right so there'll be five questions on this one. Oh, i can see the time is counting down already here i better get started <laughs> okay so start the quiz click on the next page all right so the sound is in this little black box here you click on this one oh and there Oaner. Oaner. Okay. Egune es the toon. Egune es the toon. Woman is eating an egg. Okay. What do we got here? Omicros ipos. Omicros ipos. All right. O onos que e magera. O onos que e magera. Ucos. Ucos. All right. I did my five questions. Finished attempt. And then submit all and finish. Submit and finish. And then it'll tell you how you did. And it says I got five out of five, hundred percent. Okay. So what you can do now is you can look at your answers, see how you did. Question one is correct. Two is correct. Three. If you get one that's wrong, it'll it'll mark it as red, and then you'll want to do better next time. Okay. So let's see if we go to the bottom. It says finish review. Click on that. And go to the bottom. I guess you, for this, you just, if you want to go to the next unit, you will have to use this sidebar here. But let's go back to unit one. Let's click on this. Click on unit one again. All right. So there's just one other thing I want to show you here. At the bottom of each page, it says sometimes there are additional resources. So if you want to just it says if you want to listen to the audio without the video, without the pictures, if you want to just listen to this, like maybe if you're walking or uh, you're riding a bicycle or in uh, uh, Matatu or something, you want to you have some time. If you have a, a, a phone that can record, uh, can store MP3 files on it, which you can, or you can do it on your tablet, I suppose you could do that. Uh, if you have headphones. What you can do is you can download these these mp3 files so if you click on that one it should i hope uh give you the opportunity to download it yes okay again this is what it looks like on a laptop it'll probably look a little bit different on your tablet but just hit save okay and that'll save that file to your laptop or your tablet and then you'll be able to just play the audio and just again Repetition, like like you're a little kid learning how to speak a language. Just keep listening to things over and over and over again, and eventually it'll start to make sense. There's also, uh, on some of these lessons, Word Helps. This is like a PDF file, which hopefully you will have installed on your tablets. If not, um, I can make another video and show you how to do that. But click on that one, and then it should download... Uh, something that looks like this. These are, again, this isn't going to give you all the words uh, for this first lesson. It's just going to give you a couple of words. 
uh, just for the sake of you being able to get a little more comfortable with what what's being said. So, um, for example, for this first le lesson, they have these words megas, which means big, megale, big also, but that's if you're describing something that is in the feminine uh, gender. Uh, is the, which uh, is the verb, is eating, ke, which means and, o, which is the word the, again, when you're using a, a masculine word, or a, which is with which is the with the feminine word, or to, which is with a, a neuter word. And then you have ton, which is the word the, when you're using a masculine word as the object of the verb, which again is, again, it's, it's grammar, and it's more than you need to know at this point. But if you have done some study in Greek, it might be something that's useful for you. So anyway, I'm going to go back a step here to where we were before. And then we're done with this lesson. We go to unit two, and the cycle continues. Um, so I'm just curious. I haven't even explored all this, all the things on here. If we go to grades, I guess that, that's, that's all I have really to say for, to you for now. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer them for you. You will have my email address. You can contact me um, at any time, and I will give you whatever help you need. And uh, I will also make sure you have my WhatsApp number if you need to call me. I'll be available to talk to you that way, too. Uh, I wish you God's blessings, and enjoy uh, your experience of learning to speak the Greek of the Bible.